Good morning. We are in the Minkus Mountains, hanging out with two travelers. Jane already ran off. She's like so used to this. She's like, bro, there's this place. What are you doing? So let's go for a walk this morning while we drink our coffee. Yesterday, I found this log and I just laid on it, listened to music and drank my coffee. And it was so relaxing. I absolutely loved it. Today's a little bit windy though, but I think this is gonna be great. Yeah, good girl. Oh, well, almost. I'm gonna go give this to Bunny. Where'd Jane go? Oh, she's over there. I found more of a bouquet. And now I'm gonna try to find one of these pieces of wood that have this hole in it so I can make her a little, that hole's not big enough. I don't like that piece. I like this one. So this is the part of the video where I'm gonna have to tell you guys what happened. So Jane right now is eating Dutch's dog food that Bunny threw out because Bunny actually had to put Dutch down yesterday. Um, he got into some human um, poop and when humans leave their um, stuff uncovered in the forest for animals to get to, there's medications, there's edibles, there's other things that can cause dogs to have really bad, bad injuries. And her dog went into liver failure. Um, I know one other person that this has happened to, but their dog survived and it's the van wives. They were on a trip through Arizona and one of their dogs ate poop and it just so happened to be have marijuana edibles and their dog ended up seizing out. Um, hope, thankfully their dog was able to be saved. Dutch being 14 was not, he was just not in the best health to go through something like that. Um, so she's having a hard time. So she's not gonna be on camera. I'm not gonna force the camera in her face anything like that. I'm just gonna be here for her. But she did just tell us that there's a stream down there from the ice melting, and we're actually close to the ice melting, so I'm gonna show you guys that. Come on. I, I love how Jane scrambles down a mountain because she doesn't even find the easiest path, like at all. We're just over here, like, trying not to break an ankle on all these rocks. Look at that. I think I'm going to come around and harvest some of this mullein. This mullein right here, especially the center part, is perfect. This, this is nature's made toilet paper. It's also smokable. Um, it's a decongestant. So yeah, look up Molin. This is good stuff. I'm gonna come back for this plant. Wow. This is the morning coffee spot. Listening to this, there's a beautiful rock to sit on right there. Oh, oh come on. We found snow, and here's like a little patch 
I'm gonna try to get Jane to jump off over the stream and like, look, this spot right here. You can do it. Yeah. You know, it's moments like this that I realize everything and every time I do something that's just like absolutely ridiculously out there, I'm wearing a robe and slippers and I'm still in my pajamas. Hey, Jane, don't ditch me. Why are you ditching me? Come on, come over here. All right, so we came back to the van. I was making brown sugar lemonade and I decided to like open up my hood and check on the engine. I found, because I left two rags right here, a little nest. So now <laughs> I'm gonna leave my engine open and hopefully uh, they're like gone somewhere else. I still have to tighten this oil cap, the oil filter cap. And yeah, hopefully like <laughs> things get better. I'm gonna make ribs tonight. This is my, um, this is my defrosting method. It works. You just hang it on a hook on the van. Okay. Um, I haven't even finished my coffee, but like, okay, I'm going to try to breathe and everything is going to be okay. Things are good. Yeah. All right. It's like 530. I'm going to start to prep the ribs exactly how I did at my brother's house, except my seasoning, I just used blackening seasoning i think it's from like yeah, xanarans this one so that's what this is covered in it's been in my fridge for like a couple of hours so i'm just gonna like plop this down onto this tiny little baking sheet that's covered in aluminum foil and go from there no flip over all right that was way too complicated When I use my oven, I think this part is the most interesting part because people always wonder, how am I using an outdoor oven inside of a van? This is how. So this whole space from right here to right here is just empty. It's just empty space back here. There's a little, oh, geez. There's a little hole right there because of that window. And what I do is I set this and this will take the heat and either I can set it to face out the window, but today, today is really cold. And so I have this door a little bit cracked open, this window cracked open, the fan making the air from, and the heat from this kind of heat my living space too. So it's kind of like a two for one. I know that when I, first got into van life, I was like, okay, we're going to plan out our meals. Summertime, we're going to eat a lot of raw foods, a lot of salads, because I really don't want to turn on the stove. During the winter time, I think that's why I love the winter the most, is I get to cook everything I want in my oven, from cinnamon rolls to biscuits. Now I'm cooking ribs because I just learned how. Like, there's all these things that I'm like, wow, dude, I can do this in my oven? Sweet. My oven stays like a perfect 300 degrees. Without that stone, this temperature gauge used to say that it would go to 400, but it didn't cook anything relatively fast. But this is starting to smell really good. These turned out amazing. And they only took about 45 minutes. I'm parked on an incline right now, and so everything kind of burned to this side. I wasn't level enough to actually do this, but this is beautiful. You want a crispy? Oh, yeah, this? Dude. I'm at 7,000 feet in elevation. And I'm cooking baby back ribs. Oh, these are so good. I'm sorry about today's vlog, guys. It wasn't really put together. 
and today wasn't necessarily perfect. There was a lot of crying, there was a lot of being in our own spaces, and now Pam found out she needs to leave tomorrow for a family thing, so she has to drive all the way back to Texas, and that was nowhere, anywhere part of her plans. So like, everybody's kind of like, we don't know what's happening. And I don't know what's next, so. I hear you. Say bye. Bye. What's up guys? So it's been like a day and I just kind of left it and it is official. I have a hitchhiker. Um, my engine hasn't been on for two days, but I don't know if this hitchhiker came from my brother's house or if it's from around here and it just found sanctuary in my engine. So we're gonna run the engine today. I have my oil cap, I'm gonna tighten the oil cap and we're gonna, we're gonna leave the hood open and who, what, whatever is actually in my engine hopefully gets scared out. Some people say that if you have a dog, this shouldn't happen, but like, honestly, Jane doesn't care. So, psh, there's that. I also sent a text to my brother. Now my brother has a little device in his engine bay to get rid of mice because mice are actually like known in their area because a lot of people have chickens, they have gardens and things like that around his house. So like this could be a hitchhiker from Tucson or this could be something new from up here, but I have no idea. Um, Bunny has some traps and I'm going to, once we get off the mountain, I'm going to probably stay at like a Cracker Barrel or something or at a Planet Fitness and I'm going to set a trap and hopefully I catch a mouse. Or hopefully they've ran off into the woods and found a new home. I have no idea. I have no idea. I've never had a mouse. <laughs> I'm kind of freaking out. Okay, so I tried to tighten my oil cap. I removed the rodent's nest. I sprayed peppermint oil all over my engine bay, all over the insulation, all over my firewall. And we're gonna hope for the best. And tomorrow morning, hopefully I don't see a nest because tomorrow morning we're driving to a new location. And that's where we're gonna pick up at. <laughs> Thank you for coming along on this adventure. I know that this video probably wasn't the best, but I'm just showing the reality of what could happen at Van what could happen in van life and you know there's ups and then there's downs and then there's like smooth gravel sometimes but love you bye <laughs>